Alright then, so since it's nearly Christmas, I thought I'd do a nice Christmas themed tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to create this CSS present. And this is something you can use on your website if you want to maybe give your users a digital gift or show them a promo code, but just do it in a nice fun Christmassy way. So if you hover over this, then it's going to open the lid and show a promo code. So this is what we're going to be building. So then I've uploaded all of the code for this tutorial to this repo right here on GitHub, CSS Christmas Presents, and the link to this is going to be down below. So if you want to view the code, you can do just click on the relevant file, or if you want to download all of the code, click on this green button and then go to download zip to download it to your computer. So then first things first, we need to create the HTML for this presence. And I've already created this boilerplate. I've just got a head and inside the head, we're linking to a styles.css file, which is over here. And there's nothing in there whatsoever at the minute. We're gonna create those styles from scratch. And then down here inside the body, we need to create some code for the present. So to do that, I'm gonna create a div and give this a class of present. So this will be the whole present and everything else is gonna go inside here. Now we need three different things inside this present. We need a lid, we need the actual box itself below the lid, and also the promo code. So I'm gonna do a div for each of those. So div with the class of lid for the lid, and then, oops, that should be div, not di. So div, and then below that, we need a div for the promo code. So div.promo, press tab, and that gives us a class of promo. And then finally, one for the box, so div.box. All right then, so that's the basic structure. Now we'll do the lid first of all. What's going inside the lid? Well, only one thing. I just want one ribbon. That's the gold ribbon that goes up vertically through the lid. So I'm gonna create a span for that. We don't need to give it a class. We'll just target the span. Now, same in the box, but we need two this time. We need a strip or a ribbon going across and one going up. So I'm gonna do two span tags. So one for going across and then one for going up and down. Cool. Now inside the promo, we just need some text and we're gonna have a paragraph tag, first of all, to say 20% off promo. And then below that, I'm gonna do an H2 and inside here is the promo code itself, which will say Christmas 2020. All right then, so that is pretty much it. That's all we need to do for the HTML, very simple. Now, I want to be able to preview this in a browser. Now, I've already installed a package which allows me to spin up a local development server to preview this, and that package is called Live Server. It's this one right here. So just search for Live Server up here and install that. And then once you've done that, you can go to any HTML file, right-click it, and then open up with Live Server. And that's going to open up in a browser over here, we can see this address. This is localhost right here, port 55,000 at the minute. It might be a different port on yours, and then the name of the file. So now, this is a live reload. If I make a change in the code and press save, it's gonna auto refresh over here. So the next up, we need to attack the styles to make this look a bit better. So I'm gonna go into styles.css. And first of all, we'll target the body, just a couple of styles on here. And the background of the whole page is gonna be a dark gray, that's 333. And then also some padding top, so padding top, and that's gonna be 150 pixels. So if we save that, we can see it looks like this. All right, so now we want to style the presence and also the lid and the promo and the box. Let's start with the present itself. So dot present, and then inside here, I'm gonna give this a width of 410 pixels, and then a margin of zero top and bottom, auto left and right, and what that does is position the present in the middle of the page and apply auto margin left and right. So if I save it, it should go into the middle. The text isn't because it's on the left of the present, but later it will be. Okay, so now we want to style the box and also the lid because we're going to style these in a similar way they're both going to have that kind of polka dot background so let's do that background first of all how are we going to do this polka dot background well we're going to use a value called radial gradient and what that allows us to do is create a circle like gradient so it goes from one color to another now in our case it's just going to go from white to transparent in a circular gradient and the gradient width or length, if you like, is gonna be next to nothing. So we end up with what looks like white circles. So let me do this, radial and then hyphen gradients. 
like so, and it's a function. And inside here, we're going to say we want white 15%. So this is basically the size. And then we want it to go to transparent. And that's going to be at 15.1%. So just a 0.1 difference. And that means it's going to go from white to transparent very, very quickly. You're not really going to see that gradient. And we end up with what looks like just a white circle, basically. All right. So after that, also, I'm going to do a comma and color the background a specific color as well. So RGB. And then inside here, it's 240 and then 58 and then 58. So this is kind of like a red color. So this is the red background. And then we're going to get white spots on that background. Now, if I save it at the minute, we're not really going to see much because we've not given the box or the lid a width or height. So let me come down here and say box first of all. And we'll say width is going to be 400 pixels. And the height is going to be, oops, let me spell this correctly, is going to be 250 pixels. So if I save this, we can see it looks like this, but it doesn't look great. It's not polka dot. We just have one kind of overly circle. So let me now add some more properties to this over here. So what I'm going to do now is give this a background position, first of all. And that is going to be zero, zero. So top left, zero, zero, then 25 pixels and 25 pixels. So that should appear in the top left now of the box. If we take a look at this, we don't see that at the minute, but let me go on to the next property, background hyphen size. And this is going to be 50 pixels and 50 pixels. So that's left and right. So it's going to be a small circle. If we save that now, now we can see this repeats itself over and over and over again. And now we get that kind of polka dot effect. All right. Okay, then. So after that, I'm going to say position is relative. And then below that, I'm going to say margin is zero and auto. All right. So now we have this box right here. I also want to style the lid. So I'm going to say lid and inside here, the width is also going to be 400 pixels. And the height this time is going to be 70 pixels because it's a little smaller, the lid. And if we save that, we can see the lid right here and the box down here. Cool. All right. So what I'd like to do is give this a box shadow. So the bottom of it has a little shadow because later on when it comes over the box, then it's going to give it that 3D effect. So let's do that. I'm going to say box hyphen shadow, and it's going to be one pixel, two pixels and three pixels. And then the shadow itself, the color RGBA, A so we can add an alpha channel and make it semi-transparent. It's going to be black, which is three zeros and then 0 0.2 for the alpha channel. Now, you're not going to really see that box shadow much at the minute because it's on a dark background. But when we bring it down here later on, you'll see it against the box and it will stand out more. OK, now there's also a few more things I want to do to the lid. First of all, give it a Z hyphen index of one. That's just so it goes over the box and not under it. And then I'm going to also give this a padding of zero top and bottom, two pixels left and right and that's so it goes out a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right so it's a tiny bit wider than the box which the lid needs to be because it goes on top of a box all right so that's the padding and then finally i'm going to give this a slightly darker background color than this so let me say background hyphen color and then it's going to be rgb and inside here this time i'll say 216 and then 52 and then 52. So this is slightly darker than the box itself. You can't really tell much at the minute, but again, when they're up against each other later on, you will be able to tell. All right. So now we want to style the ribbons. So let me come over here and say, I want the box span. And remember the ribbons are the span tags right here. We have two in the box and one in the lid. So box span and also lid span. And then inside here, we want to position these absolutes. And remember, we positioned the box and the lid relative. So we can position these absolutely relative to the lid and the box. OK, so we position them absolute, first of all, then display as block. And then after that, we give them a background color. And this is going to be kind of like a gold color, but I also want to make it semi transparent. So RGB A, A for the alpha channel. And then inside here, two, three, five, one, nine, nine, 
and then 0 and then 0 0.8 and that means you can see through it a little bit all right and then finally a box hyphen shadow just to give it some depth and that's going to be one pixel two pixel three pixel then rgba zero 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 and naught point one so just a very subtle box shadow now at the minute if i save it we won't see those ribbons and that's because we've not given them a width or height so let's do the first one inside the box so remember we have two right here and we want one of them to go across and one of them to go up right so let's target the first one which is going to go across so down here I'm going to say box and then span and it's going to be the first child so the first one and then inside here we'll say the width is 100% so it goes all the way across the box and the height is going to be 60 pixels and then finally we'll say top 80 pixels so it comes 80 pixels from the top of the box and it looks something like this okay cool so after that we need the other span so I'm gonna grab this and copy it and I'm going to paste it down here and change this to last child and I'm going to give this a width this time of 60 pixels and it's going to have a height of 100% like so and then instead of from the top we need it to be from the left and that's going to go about 170 pixels from the left so if we take a look at that we should get across a bit like that okay looks pretty good now I also want this one on the lid so I could say over here also target the lid span like so and if I save that we can see this one right here as well awesome so next up I want to style these a bit so let me come over here and say promo and then inside here first of all the font hyphen size and in fact we won't do that because we're going to style the p tag and the h2 differently so we'll say color is going to be white for this text and then the font hyphen family is going to be Georgia if I can find it right here it's not there so let me try that again font family and if I come down here we can see Georgia so this is the font family after that I want to align the text to the center so text align is going to be center and let's take a look at that so far all right looking better so after that I want to say position relative and this is so we can move it up and down relative to its original position and we're going to say top is going to be 10 pixels and that just moves it down a little bit and then down here I'm going to say the height is zero pixels save that and now you can see the lid come down almost on top of the box but I'm actually going to go back and just comment this out for now so we can style the text a bit more and in fact what I'm going to do is just copy and paste in a couple of styles so we have the paragraph tag inside the promo which is this one right here and also the h2 all I'm doing is giving these a respective font size and setting the margin of each to be zero so if we save that it looks something like this now okay so now let's give this a height of zero again save it and now we can see the box is firmly underneath the lid so notice this ribbon is a bit to the left of this ribbon and that's because the width of this is slightly more it's got a bit of padding on the left and right so we need to just adjust this thing right here so let me come over here and say lid span and this time from the left it's going to start at 172 pixels and that's because remember we gave it two pixels of padding on each side I think where is the lid yep padding is two pixels on the left and right so it needs to start two pixels beyond where the ribbon on the box starts hope that makes sense if we save it now they line up with each other flush all right then so all that's left is a few hover effects so that when we hover over this the lid pops up and the text pops up as well so let's come to the bottom and do these i'm going to say dot present which is the whole thing that's what we're going to hover over pseudo class hover and then dot lid so we're going to basically move the lid up so i want to take the top property and say minus 100 pixels so if i save this notice the lid comes right up cool and then after that i want to also transform this so transform it's going to be rotate around the z-axis and it's going to be 10 
degrees. So it kind of tilts the lid as well. If we save that, we can see it looks something like this. And then finally, I want to budge it over to the right away from the left a little bit. So we'll say left is gonna be 10 pixels as well. Save that. Subtle effect, but that looks pretty good now. And then finally, we want to bring up the promo text. So I'm gonna come down here and say present and then hover dot promo and we're going to say top is minus 80 pixels so we bring that up save it and oops we don't see that so let's just check this and i've misspelled promo so let's save that again and now when we hover over we can see that text as well cool so now all i want to do is make the transitions a bit smoother and to do that all we need to do is come to the promo text first of all which is over here we want to transition that i'm going to say transition and then all properties ease hyphen out and it's going to be 0.7 seconds so if i save this you can see the text slide up that's a bit better we want to do something similar now with the lid so let's come to where the lid is up here somewhere okay and let's do a transition property now there's three things we want to transition we don't want to transition everything just three properties and that is the top property the left and the transform that was these three things right here top transform and left so to do three properties we need to comma separate them i'm going to say top first of all ease hyphen out and then 0.5 seconds and then a comma i'm going to duplicate that a couple of times and change top right here to left and then also transform at the bottom like so now if i save this and preview oops it's not doing it so let's see what's gone wrong we need our semicolon at the end over here save that again and it's not quite right so let me take a look again and it's because we don't have an initial top and left value for the lid so if we take a look down here we're saying we want to go to this top and left value but we don't set an initial one so that's what's messing up the transition so we need to go to the lid and we'll say it just above here top to begin with is going to be zero and also left is going to be zero as well so if we save this now and preview that looks a lot better awesome and that my friends is your christmas animating box if you enjoyed this video, please, my friends, do not forget to share, subscribe, and like. That really means a lot. And Merry Christmas.